All right, we're gonna try this. This camera isn't great at handheld. I have put a new GoPro on my Christmas list and I've been a good boy, so hopefully Santa will get me one. But I wanted to show this to you. I got to where my canoe is and I just trenched it out a little wee bit here. Look at the water I got flowing down here. My little trench I just hoed is overwhelmed. And this is October 31st, the last day of October. Look at the water running down there. Amazing. So now at least I have an idea where the water, I'm gonna to have to dig a bigger trench because my little trench just got completely overwhelmed. And the water is still pulling up here, so but look at it, look at how look how much it's flowing there. I'm impressed. This is the first time I've seen this. Now we got another one back in here. I'll walk it. Again, this is I'm sorry for the shakiness. And I'm doing it one-handed because I'm holding my umbrella. I don't have no rain gear. <laughs> That's going to change real quick. I need to be out here in this type of situation. But you see, I got standing water here, pulling water, and it got nowhere to go. Uh, there's a bit of a rise before it starts going down, so I would either have to trench it that way or back the way I came. I'm not sure if I could do that but here I did do a dig a trench you can see the water pooling here uh, it's about ankle deep I'm walking right up the trench you can hear the water splashing but yeah this is about an ankle deep and again I just used the hoe I dug a little trench that goes clean down across the, the trail down there. But look, it got quickly overwhelmed. And I've got a new feeder coming in. I guess they weren't kidding when they said uh, a lot of water flowing off of this hill. Well, you get the idea. This is one of them in there is my trench. <laughs> my little trench is so overwhelmed here. I gotta definitely dig it out more. And it don't do this all the time, but when it rains, you can see the, how much water is flowing down here. And here's my trail right here. I did dig this path across my trail. See, there's my trail up to the pond. So, it gives me an excuse to try my hand at building a little arch DIY wooden arch bridge. But... I can't wait to see how much water comes off in the spring when the spring thaw comes. I mean, good grief, look at this water. And then, those two springs out to the pond, that's running almost like a, well, <laughs> I'd say river, but no, not really a river. But definitely like a creek. And I don't know, if, a, if it never dries up, isn't that a legitimate, bona fide creek? All right, you can see my pond level is up. Uh, you can go by that metal pipe there. That thing was not underwater. It is now. But let's go ahead and take a walk up here and check out these trenches I dug up here. There's two springs. There's one, oh look at that, I got a nice little, beautiful little waterfall, look at that. Now I gotta try to zoom in here, hang on, whoa! <laughs> I wanna start a new video, hang on. I just can't get over the fact that I got a waterfall. I made a waterfall. That is just too cool. 
too cool.